Pisces. Welcome to your love reading for July 1st to the 11th for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So for my newbies, because I know I got a lot of newbies, I always go through a meditative session first, and then I get into the pre-shuffle. Then we go ahead and do your reading, okay? So Pisces, when I was tap when I would start tapping into your energy, you guys felt really good. <laughs> uh, I love your energy right now, Pisces. Um, you guys are, there's a lot of movement around you. First and foremost, there's a lot of movement. Some of you guys could be traveling, moving, or you just could be doing a lot of stuff. I feel like you're actually just doing a lot of stuff, like getting a lot of things in order, getting the ball rolling, so to speak. I feel like you're... <coughs> Sorry, give me, give me a minute. Mm. I feel like you're making plans, you're strategizing, you're getting, you're getting shit in order to do what you want to do to get stability in your life. I'm feeling a lot of needing stability, wanting stability, and you're really focused on yourself and you're looking forward and it's fabulous. I love it. I love that energy. Um, I'm also feeling like you're really excited about something. You're really excited about something like very much like on top of the moon, like on top of the moon kind of energy. Um, <laughs> okay they're giving me ly song lyrics i'm not gonna sing it i'm tempted to because it's like I, I love this song um but i'm just gonna say it because i i like to sing but i don't do that publicly anyway <laughs> fly me to the moon let me play amongst the stars <laughs> you could be an aquarian by cn cusper like stars just instantly aqua energy just hit me or you could be dealing with aquarius you could have that in your chart um but you're feeling really excited oh 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 stars um some of you are, are doing some astral work. Some of you are going to be having some 5D experiences. And for those who have already had those experiences, it's going to be more intense. Okay, so just get ready for that. Um, but yeah, you're just feeling excited. You're feeling excited and you're ready for whatever's coming your way. Um, it's my time. It's my time. Oh, okay, you're getting a little badass now, Pisces. You're feeling like it's your time to shine. It's like the wheel has gone in a full circle. When is it time for me? It's time for me now. It's Piscean time. It's Piscean time. My time to shine. It's my turn. It's my turn. Pisces, for the Piscean Collective I'm tapped into, it seems like you guys have spent a lot of time being bogged down by other people, taking advantage of even for some of you, Pisces, which kind of hurts my heart a little bit. Um, but you're ready to shine. You're ready to do you and to really be, <clears throat> excuse me, at your best, okay? And it feels fabulous i'm also getting a lot of like light energy off of you um your energy is really strong right now people are feeling you even if you're not really that close to them physically they're feeling your energy i'm also gonna seeing a lot of white like yellow like yellow whitish kind of goldish energy on you guys so you're very confident your solar is very active a lot of confidence coming from your solar plexus for most of you um just be careful if it's getting overactive you're going to be having some digestive issues if that happens just meditate <clears throat> meditate make sure you're aligning your chakras through meditation you can always listen to music as well to heal your chakras um you can always use crystals as well okay all right <clears throat> god darn it sorry all of a sudden my throat chakra is not happy mm. Mm. okay let's get into your pre-shuffle pisces we have two of wands aries energy knight of cups in reverse piscean energy could also be water or fire ace of cups Page of Cups, and Five of Pentacles in Reverse, Taurus Energy. Oh, Pisces, I feel an apology and an offer. And an offer, but mm. <laughs> inopportune time just came to me. <laughs> inopportune time. Pisces, I feel like you're this Two of Wands energy. You're looking ahead at your path. And like I said, you're like, you're starting to make plans. You're starting to make moves. You're getting the ball rolling. It's like, you don't have time for anyone else. I hate to say it like that. Some of you feel like you don't have time for anyone else right now because you're so focused on you. Yeah, even with the Knight of Cups in reverse, Pisces, you're not giving love to anyone right now because you're focused on your path. You're looking, look, you're looking ahead. You started a new path for yourself and you're looking ahead. You don't got time to be showing emotion and love to other people. I'm hearing you in a dialogue. I've done a lot of that already. <laughs> I love you, Pisces. Some of you are definitely saying that to yourself. I've done a lifetime of that. <laughs> I've done a lifetime of giving to people. Um, but you do have someone coming in here, Pisces. Ace of Cups, Page of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles in reverse. They're coming in to offer emotion. They're coming in to offer love, apologies. And they really want to come out of the cold with you, Okay. Doghouse. I just heard doghouse. Uh, somebody actually put someone in a doghouse. Not like literally. What? Guys, no, not literally. 
at least one of you had that thought because I heard it. Not literally, guys. <laughs> so funny. Um, I mean, like, you know, you put them in the doghouse and they're ready to come out. <laughs> They're ready to come out of the doghouse, male or female doesn't matter. I know usually that term is meant for women doing it to men, but gender doesn't matter here. But yeah, it's like, you don't want to be turning on the taps anymore. Your water bill's high, let me put it that way. But they want to come in with an apology, emotion. They want to make amends. Very typical of eclipse energy, okay? But like I said, you guys are on top of the world right now. Um, or on top of the moon. Pisces. All right, so let's get into your reading. So for anybody who has any confusions, curiosities, or questions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below, okay? All right, Pisces. Very excited. Any messages for Pisces regarding love? July 1st to the 11th. Any messages for Pisces regarding love? July 1st to the 11th. Any messages for Pisces regarding love, July 1st to the 11th? Yeah, yeah, I feel like some of you are like, really? Now? You choose now to come in and deal with me? Yeah, some of you are really annoyed by this, actually. Oh, looky there. Emperor in reverse, Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. This is the person you're going to be dealing with. Uh, it could be a boss for some of you, actually. It could be like you're leaving a job and your boss is like, no, you can't leave. It could definitely be some of that for some of you. Because like I said, you're you're just starting a new path for yourself. Oh, come back. There we go. Because like I said, you're just starting a new path for yourself. Um, so like I said, I was feeling boss big time, actually. Big time. So I mean, this is a boss. Others, this could be, you know, a romantic interest that you're dealing with who wants to make amends with you. Um, this is usually uh, someone who is a little older doesn't have to be but someone who's worked really hard to get where they are okay um ceo lawyer judge that sort of individual someone who holds a lot of power or, th or who thinks they hold a lot of power that's coming in strong too for some reason <laughs> someone who thinks they hold a lot of power okay they're not very grounded they're panicking they're actually panicking pisces last move I don't know what that's about last move that is going to resonate for whoever it needs to but I just heard last move last move ace of wands in reverse oh boy um Pisces whoever this is <clears throat> they've been suppressing themselves is actually what I'm getting they've been suppressing their desires and what they really want for themselves this is interesting why would an emperor need to suppress that they're lacking motivation for themselves. This is interesting. They're lacking motivation for themselves in their own life, but they're clinging on to you. They're clinging on to you. This feels a little codependent for an emperor, which is why it's surprising me, but it's feeling very codependent. Let's see what else we have here. Any messages for Pisces regarding love? July 1st to the 11th. Any messages for Pisces regarding love? July 1st to the 11th. Any messages for Pi- All right, let's see what this is. Oh my, the Sword of Truth, Ace of Swords. You have two aces here out of three cards. So there's truth and clarity coming in about the situation. This emperor is gaining clarity as well, which is why I think they're panicking. Okay, I think that's why they're panicking. People usually only panic when something sudden happens or they get some sudden realization about something, right? Like think of every time you've ever panicked. Something came on suddenly, right? Something you weren't prepared for, something that you were had confusion about or clarity, and then it's like, oh my God, right? That's what the Sunfire is going through. Any messages for Pisces? Now we have Four of Wands, Aries energy, and then we have Seven of Pentacles, Taurus energy. Pisces, I actually feel like this is you building your foundation on your path. There's also some analyzation here about what really happened in a foundation foundation is something that was built okay so a home a relationship a family a business something that was built but something that was built with heart something that was built with passion right um there's a sense of looking back and analyzing it and gaining clarity about it but also pisces it's helping you to build your foundation moving forward for yourself okay any messages for pisces regarding love july 1st to the 11th 
Any messages for Pisces regarding love? July 1st to the 11th. All right, that's it. Five card reading. Sorry, I just, I love the card that's out here. Overall energy, Pisces. Ten of Cups. Piscean energy. You can have the Ten of Cups solo. You don't need anyone else to get the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is just top of the line fulfillment in emotion. Okay, in emotion. Usually it is regarding home and family because this is a home and family card. You could just be so on top of the world. Like I said, you're feeling excited about something, Pisces. You could just be so happy in where you are in life that you're just always happy, right? That's definitely the energy that I'm getting here. Um, this emperor has family on the brain as well. And my guides just said home more than family. Okay. Home more than family. Who they share a home with. Okay. Oh, Pisces. Oh, are you ready for this? Um, this emperor has you and you on their on their brain. <laughs> I was gonna say on your on their head on their brain, um, has you on their brain in regards to who they want to share a home with. First and foremost, a home, family second. I don't know why the, I don't know why that would be a priority for this person, but that's how they're prioritizing it. Home and then family. Interesting. Home and then family. But like I said, there's some truth and clarity, Pisces, that you're gaining by looking back on whatever foundation you had with this person, um, whatever kind of foundation it was and it's helping you make moves and strategizing to moving forward to get to your nine of pentacles your ten of pentacles right this is the pause point before you really hit home to the end of your goal um yeah you're it's like you're almost learning you're learning about more about yourself from this past experience with this person okay all right let's get into the cards no need to linger on so let's look at your emperor here and the ace of wands in reverse. Really curious about this ace of wands in reverse energy. I'm going to use Rider Waite to clarify. Tell me about ace of wands in reverse for Pisces regarding love. July 1st to the 11th. Oh man, my throat chakra is closing quick. Whoa. Mm. Someone needs to speak some truth here. Pisces, you know the truth. It's this emperor. No wonder it started to close when I got into his energy. This emperor's energy, they need to speak. They need to start talking. Start talking, start talking. Tell me about Ace of Wands in reverse, but they're panicking. You'd think they talk, right? Tell me about Ace of Wands in reverse for Pisces regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about the Ace of Wands in reverse for Pisces regarding love. July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Ace of Wands in reverse for Pisces regarding love. July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Ace of Wands in reverse for Pisces regarding love. Let's see what we have here. We have a King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus energy could also be Earth or Air. Oh, there we go. Talking. Thank you. Thank you, Emperor. Knight of Swords, Gemini energy could also be air or fire. Thank God, because it's like, I need my throat chakra to be working here. Ugh. It's already feeling better with that Knight of Swords energy that just came through. Um, yeah, really wanting to talk about it. They're panicking. Knight of Swords is a very panicky communication energy. It's someone who's also very, can be, can be a little aggressive in their communication. It's essentially desperate communication, okay? So that's why sometimes it could come off aggressive. Um, but they're really ready to speak up about something. I don't like the way it's coming off though. It's mostly panic, but it just is like, it's almost coming across like aggressive and angry, even though it's just panic. It's panic. I can't lose. That's weird. I can't lose. Ow. I can't lose. And again, with this knight, knight of pentacles, not knight, sorry, king of pentacles in reverse, very ungrounded, right? Very ungrounded. I'm getting like scrambling, like oh, like you know those videos of like Bla of Black Friday. Oh, come back, Black Friday. It's Black Friday, right? Yeah, Black Friday. Um, the day after Thanksgiving here in the states for anybody who's watching me outside the country. Um, like where people are just grabbing, grabbing, grabbing out of panic that nothing's gonna be left. I'm seeing that. I'm seeing that they're coming in to grab you, Pisces. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, all right. Let's see what else we get for this Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, codependent. This person's codependent. Tell me about Ace of Wands in reverse for Pisces. Regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Ace of Wands in reverse for Pisces. Regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. 
Wow. Overall energy for the Ace of Wands in reverse. Five of Swords in reverse. Venus and Aquarian energy. Forgiveness. They want to they wanna talk and they're going to talk. But again, it's out of panic to grab, claim. I can't lose Pisces. But it's out of codependency and panic. It's so weird because I can pick up on the fact that this emperor is not motivated to do things for themselves and to do things for their own life. But they're really motivated to come in and claim you and to keep latching on to you. Okay, and they do want forgiveness for something. And there was, there's this energy where there was a walking away. There was a walking away. One of you walked away from each other. One of you walked away from each other. One of you walked away from the other. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but they want forgiveness. They want the swords we put down. They want things to be right. But again, it's out of panic. So decide how you feel about that. I know how that would make me feel. But decide how you guys feel about that. So let's move on to this energy. The Ace of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. Let's look at the Ace of Swords and see what truth is coming in here, okay? I'm actually going to stick with this deck. And then we'll look at the Seven of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ace of Swords for Pisces regarding love. July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Ace of Swords for Pisces regarding love. July 1st to the 11th. I'm wondering what's prompting this. Because, like, I mean, we are in eclipse energy, so that could definitely be prompting it. It's very powerful energy. But it's like, why are they coming in now so panicked? Pisces, they might know that you're making moves for yourself, right? And just going further down your path. Oh, thank you, spirit. Without them. Without them. Okay, interesting. Tell me about Ace of Swords. Tell me about Ace of Swords for Pisces regarding love. July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Ace of Swords. Strength in reverse, Leo energy. Let's see what else we get out here. Pisces, you're definitely realizing that whatever foundation you had with this emperor, work or otherwise, there was a sense of control. Or at least a sense of like dependent, like codependence, right? Code I feel like codependence and control basically go hand in hand. You can't really have one without the other. Yeah, you're realizing that. Tell me about Ace of Swords for Pisces. Regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. I think you're also, wow, Pisces, I feel like you're learning a lot of lessons here. Um, I feel like you're also realizing, <coughs> sorry guys. That codependence and control issues basically stem from just insecurities and lack of self-soothing, right? Um, and you're realizing that about your emperor, that they're very much lacking in that department of self self-soothing. Such a hard word to say. Now we have Pisces, High Priestess in reverse, Piscean energy. Could it also be Gemini for me as a reader? Two of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy here. Yeah, see, again, you're coming into realizations. The things that were hidden, the things that were in the dark are now coming to light for you. And it's through realization and your intuition. You're realizing the chaos that went along with this connection and that you made the right choice. Interesting. That you made the right choice. The right decisions were made. The right decisions were made. If this emperor left you, it was the right thing for the wrong reason. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Okay. Tell me about the Ace of Swords for Pisces regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Ace of Swords for Pisces regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. A lot of realizations for people during this month, guys. Now we have King of Wands in reverse, Leo energy. Could also be fire or air. Seven of Wands in reverse, more Leo energy. <laughs> and then we have the sun, more Leo energy. You got a whole line of just Leo energy. Like straight up, just Leo energy here. Oh. Oh, Pisces. I'm getting embarrassment. I'm getting embarrassment here. Um, this, this emperor slash king of pens slash king of wands is very much embarrassed by what has happened. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that's a horrible feeling. Oh, sorry. It just, it, it is a horrible feeling. They're very much embarrassed and it's coming to light. 
um, they're also realizing how happy you are and the happiness and freedom that you're heading towards and that they also realize that you made it for yourself. They're impressed. They're impressed and Pisces, I know, I know this is going to feel, but it's just coming through. They didn't expect you to do it. They didn't expect you to be able to pull it off. I know. Oh, I know, Pisces. I know. Stop, stop it. <laughs> just the messenger. Just the messenger. You can yell at them in your head all you want, but just remember, I can hear you. Okay. <laughs> I can hear you. Um, you know, it's funny because it's like, I'm also getting a little bit of like resentment and anger but they, it's almost like they feel like they don't have the right to really be angry. So they're trying to like not hold on. They're actually trying not to hold on to that. So that's like, come on, kudos for them, right? That That's recognizing, that's checking themselves. They're literally checking themselves and how they're feeling about this. But they do feel embarrassed. They feel really embarrassed and really ashamed. Overall energy for the Ace of Swords, we do have the Five of Pentacles, Taurian energy. So again, being out in the cold, right? Oh, I just heard suffering. Pisces, you're, you know this person is suffering right now you know you're looking back and and you're also kind of realize it's like you're looking back and it's like you're bringing yourself up to the present it's almost like you're going through a history reel his history reel like watching a movie like watching a movie of the foundation you have with this person and you're learning a lot about yourself like i said and again making the right decisions and if they left you it was the right decision for the wrong reason um and you know that they're embarrassed because you know that they're suffering I think you're also picking up on like this is like all through your intuition Pisces this is kind of this is kind of cool actually I'm picking up on what you're picking up through your intuition about your person this is cool um you're also picking up on the fact oh, god damn it sorry guys <clears throat> gotta rest my throat chakra after this you're also real you're also picking up on the fact that they may be struggling financially oh I just heard bankruptcy shit okay that's that let's look at the seven of pentacles let's look at the seven of pentacles and see what we get off of that um gilded i'm gonna go for the gilded one on this one tell me about seven of pentacles for pisces regarding love july 1st to the 11th tell me about seven of pentacles for pisces the Leo energy here is so strong. I'm like, what other Leo cards are there? The six and the five of wands. Yeah, literally, guys, you have all the Leo cards here except for the six of wands and the five of wands. That's a lot of Leo energy, just saying. Tell me about seven of pentacles, which we are going into Leo season in July, towards the end of it. But tell me about seven of pentacles for Pisces. Regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Seven of Pentacles for Pisces. Regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Okay. They were fighting me. Hair font in reverse, Taurus energy. Ten of Cups, Piscean energy. And then we have two of cups in reverse, Cancerian energy, also soulmate energy, with a three of pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. You're going, yeah, oh, Pisces, I love you. What did I say? You're achieving your ten of cups. You are going to get your full wish fulfillment here. Uh, not wish fulfillment, sorry. That's interesting. We don't have the star card out here, but I'm sure this is something you have been wishing for or trying to manifest for yourself. Um, full emotional fulfillment and happiness. You're going to get it. And you're going to take a different approach in doing it. A very unorthodox approach, which is why you're strategizing. <laughs> I love you. I'm not going to do it like everyone else is what I just heard. I'm not going to do it like everyone else. Yeah, you're thinking outside the box to get there. You're thinking outside the box to get there. I love it. And you're also, you know, again, you're still looking back. Again, playing that history reel, bringing you all the way up to the present like a movie. And you're looking at this connection you have with this person and just how you really don't want to put any energy into it anymore you don't want to work on it you don't, that's exactly what this means you don't want to work on it you want to work on your ten of cups for you and you're going to do it in an unorthodox way you're thinking outside the box on it tell me about seven of pentacles for pisces regarding love july 1st to the 11th Tell me about Seven of Pentacles for Pisces regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. 
Ooh. Fool in reverse. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because this is a Uranus card. <laughs> Picking up all kinds of things. Pisces, some of you feel like I was just a fool in love. Some of you are feeling that way. I was just a fool in love. Others, you're realizing that you took a lot of risks with this person and that it basically led to your heartache and your pain. I'm also getting that you're willing to take risks in your strategy to get to your Ten of um, Cups and to get to eventually your Ten of Pentacles. They're actually showing me the Ten of Pentacles now in my mind's eye. Um, yeah, you're willing to take risks to get there. <laughs> Some of you are like, it takes money to make money. You guys are funny. <laughs> All right, anyway, overall energy for the Seven of Pentacles. We do have the Nine of Swords though. Gemini energy, okay? Um, so Pisces, you're very confident but, you know, some of you are stressed out. Some of you are a little stressed out, okay? Um, I'm also picking up on on more of the, the king's emperor energy here um, because, like I said, it's like they know that you're headed to good things because you're doing it for you. And again, they're impressed. They didn't think you would do it. I know how that feels. Sorry. Just the messenger. And they're really worried about it. Pisces, it's going to sound selfish. And I think it's just because this person is a little codependent on you. They want to be happy for you. They want you to be successful, but they don't want, you, want to see you do it without them. It's very straightforward. They want you to have the best that you can have, but they don't want you to have it if it's not with them. I know. It's codependent. They clearly just need to heal, right? And, and you know, I'm not trying to assassinate this person's character or anything. Um, they just need to heal. They need to heal whatever that codependent energy is within them, all right? So let's get some advice for you, Pisces, using the Spirit Animal deck. You guys are headed to good stuff. Any advice for Pisces regarding this spread? Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Some of you are almost getting cocky about your strategy, whatever it is you're planning for yourself. Some of you are like, the rules don't apply to me. I'll make my own rules. <laughs> Pisces. Anyway, you those have to be my, my cuspers. Those have to be my aqua Piscean cuspers talking like that. Anyway, any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Some of you are also realizing that you felt really alone even when you were with this person, if this is a romantic interest of yours, or was, was, you're telling me was, okay, you guys are saying was, okay, sorry. <laughs> um, some of you felt like, or realizing that you actually felt very alone in it, even if you didn't realize it at the time. Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Take these two. Let's see what we have here. <gasps> Ooh, love it. Crow spirit. Co-create with spirit. 17 breaking down to an eight, okay? That is the abundant vibration. Prosperity is ahead, and it's because you manifested and you were working with spirit. What did I say? What did I say? How did that phrase go? I already forgot how it goes the second I was about to say it. Luck is when preparation meets opportunity. That is how you say it, right? I know I said it. Why is it blinking on me? I know I said it. Anyway, luck is when preparation meets opportunity. We can, you know, if we don't prepare for opportunities, spirit's going to give them to us. But if we're not ready for them, we're not ready for them. You're ready. You're ready. Why? Because you got the starfish spirit here. Open to infinite possibilities. 59 breaking down to a five. You have an eight and a five. So again, changing your life Putting in these strategies, making moves for yourself, you are working with spirit. You are manifesting success for yourself and you will get there and you're looking at all the avenues you can do it in. You're looking at all your options, essentially. Look at all of your options, Pisces. Thinking outside the box is really helping you here is also is what I'm telling, is what they're, I'm being told, sorry, is also what I'm being told. Breakout. Hmm. Some of you, your success is going to be very quick and you are not going to anticipate it. Either way, you're working with spirit. You're working with spirit and you're getting prepared for when opportunity strikes, hence luck. Okay. Any advice for my Pisceans? 
regarding this spread? Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? All right, now we have overall, oh, I love it. Canary Spirit, sing your own song. 12 breaking down to a three. Again, it's like your focus is on you and your truth and you're doing it. You're doing it. You're being true to yourself. You're being true to yourself. Definitely stay open to as many options as possible. I feel like you guys are because you're in that planning strategy mode. Um, but don't be closed off either. Don't be closed off either to opportunities that you're not sure about. Stay open because while you're getting prepared, spirit is going to open that door for you. And they're going to give you more options if you're open to them. If you're open to them. Stay open to them. Stay prepared. Luck will give you the right opportunity to get you to where you need to be, okay? Oh, Pisces, I love this reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to check out um, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. <laughs> and I will see you guys later, okay? Have a great night, Pisces. Namaste.